Are you two doing okay? Fine, thank you. You have the look on your face. What look? The look that you did something I'm not gonna like. I talked to Jeffrey O'Neill about your credit card problems. I wanted to help. I wanted Jeffrey O'Neill out of my life. And he was almost gone. Thanks for bringing him back in. If you've been using Cassie Winslow's credit cards, and I'm pretty sure you have been, I want you to stop immediately. No more playing princess, no more gallivanting around Europe. If you cross me on this, you will regret it. What is it, Gus? It's just, if Darcy is telling Frank what I think she is, we could be in a lot of trouble. What's so interesting about my brother? Uh, we were just remarking how, how happy he looks. Yes, well, love will do that to you. You know, it's exactly why I'm excited and thrilled about planning your wedding. I want the whole thing to come out without a hitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Okay, listen, listen. Don't say a word. Don't say one word, okay? Don't answer the question right now. I just want you to think about it because marriage is a very big Frank, step. Look, there's, there's a whole bunch of things I need to say to you, and I have no idea how to say it. Um, I just want to turn myself inside out, tell you everything I know. Are you talking about your old friend, Vinny Salerno? And Brad Green. But that's not everything. There's, there's more. There's someone else involved. Someone who's gotten away scot-free. Aren't you tired of letting your fate rest in other people's hands? Mm. Well, maybe we should do something about that. Let's do that. Let's free ourselves. Happy Independence Day, Bill. <laughs> Yo, mommy. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey. My son. You are so big. Yeah, he is. He's growing like a weed, aren't you, champ? Huh? Well, you are cute, huh? I bet you missed your mommy a lot, didn't you? Well, your daddy didn't even tell me you were going to be here today. Then again, your daddy didn't tell me a lot of things. You know what, little guy? Hey, what do you say? You want to go hang out by the pool with me? Huh? No? You sure? Oh, okay. All right. You want to come with me? All right, you come with me. Let's go. I told you, didn't I? I told you that this was going to be bad news. Danny, when I went along with keeping Robbie from a show, you told me that you would find a way to make it work out. Does, it, does this look like it's working? You think I wanted it to happen like well, this? Well, this is what happens every time you control a situation. Here's your dad. <laughs> he wants me to do um, the mommy kiss. Well, I don't really know what that means. The mommy kiss? Well, yeah, the mommy kiss. We know what the mommy kiss is, right? It's the Eskimo kiss, the butterfly kiss, hang like a bat, and nerfle the belly. Yeah? Nerfle, okay, yeah. Nerfle. Nerfle, it's a raspberry on the tummy, right, mommy? All right, let me try this out. All right, let me guess, I did it wrong, uh, right? Well, that's okay. You know, you know what, Tiger, you are right. Mommy didn't do it right, and that is because there's a good reason for that. Because uh, your mommy isn't really here right now. Hey, uh, did you did you uh, talk to Darcy at all today? The party? Not as much as you. Why? I don't know. No reason. Just. Why? You think something's wrong? Oh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I mean, I was then just why asking. ask about it? <laughs> I mean, why are either one of you asking about Darcy? Well, because she seemed a little upset. Yeah. Yeah, and? Well, I mean, after all, we're all connected, aren't we? Come on. I mean, I care for Buzz. Buzz cares for Frank. And if something's bothering Darcy and it upsets Frank, then Buzz gets all concerned. As a matter of fact, there he is. Excuse me. Okay. What the heck was that? What is she about to launch into Kumbaya? 
We're all connected since when? I need mean, to relax. Come on, it's a party. Lighten up. We were just looking over there at Frank and Darcy. Wonder if they're okay. Well, I can you tell know? you what's going on over there. Darcy probably just wants to have a good time. And Frank is so busy obsessing over a case that is already closed. That's all. I'm gonna try the potato salad. Frank, I've always imagined what you might look like if I were to tell you everything. Okay, look, Darcy, you were a prostitute. I get that. Are, are you uh, just disgusted? No, I'm not disgusted. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that you waited until now to tell me all this. I want to marry you. I want to be your wife. I want to marry you, too. Look, we can deal with this. I can deal with it. But you got to promise me from this time on, you, you just got to be honest I with will, me. I will, I will, I promise, I promise. I'm just a little surprised. I mean, well, why are you coming to me now about this bright green case? What do you know about it? Uh, um, I worked for Vinny, as you know. Um, we spent some time in Europe. And while we were there, one of my regulars was Brad Green. Frank, please, please, try not to think about yeah, it. Yeah, well, I'm trying, all right. <laughs> Look, go, go on about Vinny and Brad Green. Go ahead. Uh, well, and Alexandra Spaulding. I didn't really hear much, but I think we're all right. Oh! You two seem to be getting along. <laughs> yes, well, you know, given time, I'm irresistible. You don't have to tell me. Oh, Buzz Cooper, how come you can always manage to make me feel a little bit better about myself? We all have our missions in life. It's a good thing you two are getting along. <laughs> yeah, after all, I did try to keep him out of the family. Anyway, I'm realizing he's... he's a real Spalding. <laughs> well, that could go either way. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Working hard, Sandy. It's a holiday, boss. Yeah, mm -hmm. boss, we're having some fun. But what you don't actually see is all the work we're doing. Yeah, what sort of work? Recon, baby. Yeah, we're checking out the youth market, seeing what people spend their disposable cash on. Yeah, we've got a really great idea. And uh, what have you discovered? Waterproof MP3 player. And he's got it all figured out. Tell Mama. Okay. Check it out, boss. Ready? Surfers, swimmers, people who just want to hang out at the beach, right? Uh -huh. You take your tunes with you, and you don't have to worry about getting them messed up. So it's waterproof. I think you got that, Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> Joy, do you see that uh, young man in the hot tub over there with the headsets on? Also, the young lady next to him. They think your idea is wonderful. As a matter of fact, they went to the store and purchased those. Well, very good work. Congratulations. You've just gotten our company sued for patent infringement. But, Grandpa, Joey has a lot of great other ideas. Elizabeth, I must be honest with you. It terrifies me to think that your generation, all of you, are the future to this great nation. Now, if you will excuse me, I must go and prepare for that inevitable day when you all take over. He's so supportive. We need to talk, okay? What? Reva did not have my permission to get you involved in my problem, so I don't want your help at all, oh. okay? Well, I already made a few calls. Would you find anything out? Not yet. You know, uh, I don't tell you how to run your hotel, and I could, so why don't you just let me do my job, okay, and relax? Okay, just so you remember, I never asked you, okay? Okay, you never asked me. By the way, speaking of the hotel, I hope you haven't booked my room. Why? Aren't you leaving? Mm -mm. Something came up. I was sticking around. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry, excuse me. I... I thought you couldn't wait to leave. Why stay now? Well, something came up at work, okay? I had to, I had to do a little cleanup. It's, it's, I did you a favor. Some might say a thank you would no, be in order, you know. Thank you. you want me to owe you so then you can dig your way back into my life again. Trust me, that's the last thing I want. Still no Olivia? No. I told you, this is not high on her list of priorities. Oh. She's too busy trying to come up with new and interesting ways to make me look like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> I see. Philip, why don't you just look around? Look around. 
I mean, what am I looking for? Me and Mel, Gus and Harley, Josh and Reva. I mean, what do these couples have in common? I, I can't imagine where you're going with this. Do you want to be happy? I mean, do you want to have a normal marriage and a normal life? No. My priorities have changed. Why are you guys staying together? You're both miserable. I mean, I don't understand. Well, at the moment, for Emma's sake, I'm doing what needs to be done. It doesn't make any sense. It may not right now, but it will soon. I have big plans for Olivia. You know, if anybody saw us right now, they'd say we have a lot in common. Well, they'd be right. Mm -hmm. We both want control, we both want power. We both love a challenge. Mm -hmm. You thought you had the upper hand? <laughs> you love your Pretended to be my partner against Philip, and then they turned me away, huh? Well, you know, I just... <laughs> see how far you'd go. Has that question been answered? Not yet. Do you know what it feels like? Real power? Mm. I've been close to it. Yeah? You can feel it coming off somebody's body. Mm. It's electrifying. Mm. It's like gravity shifting when they walk in the room. Mm. It's not unlike... Love? <sighs> that nasty little poor little word. Mm. Mm. I am a married woman, you know that. <laughs> well, this one doesn't matter, Since my husband put a tail on me, he wants to know everything I'm doing. I'm not doing it with us. Well, I'll tell you something. I'm sure Philip's spy is outside right now, trying to look for the best angle for... But sure. you're right. Let's give him one. <laughs> look, have the people in your department stop crunching numbers, all right? I want creative results. Oh, listen, um, before you go, I want you to set up the account. And uh, use the same passwords we always use. The initials of every one of my grandchildren. I gotta talk to my partner for just mm. one second. Strictly business. It's it's the grandchildren. Alan's password. It's the initials of all the grandkids. No, yes. can't, it can't be that easy. Oh, L for Lizzie. Uh, actually, he calls her Elizabeth. Okay, E. J for James, Z for Zach. And his name is Alan. Okay, I learn something new every day. And Emma, E for Emma. Right. Um, so E, J, A, E, or some combination thereof. <laughs> um, we can hack into his personal files, his financial stuff. All we need to know is uh, what kind of message we want to leave. Leave that to me. Congratulations, Tammy Winslow. You've been officially recognized as the most depressing person at this party. And I'm not helping, am I? Is he really worth being this miserable? People keep saying that by the time I'm like 25, I'm going to look back on this and wonder uh -huh. why I was so pathetic. Uh -huh. But for now... He's worth it. It's not like I was picturing us with kids in an SUV, but I... I, I, I can't stop thinking about this dance. You don't have to be the one whimpering. Not if you let me take you. The offer still stands. But I, I bet you probably had a dozen offers by now anyway. No. But <laughs> just you. Well, guys are intimidated. But not me. Hey, buddy. When, uh... When I met before, when I said, Mommy's not here, is that I know Mommy's acting a little funny. She's not really Mommy. And, uh, that's because, um, I've been sick. And I kind of forgot a few things. But I'm going to get better. I am. I really am. Don't worry about that, okay? I promise. Because there's a lot of people here that love you. And they're going to help me, remember? Okay? Uh, listen, hey, little man, why don't you and me, why don't we go in there and we find some ice cream? What do you say about that? Or actually, look, here, here. There's Marina, your friend Marina. We can go say hi to her. You want to do that? Because they got a lot of stuff to talk That's about. It's okay, here, buddy. Go ahead, go with Tony, and yeah? I'll come find you in a few minutes, and we'll go for come a swim, on. okay? I love you, Mommy. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go. Michelle. Sorry, I didn't want to happen like this. I really didn't. What the hell is wrong with you? Michelle, I'm sorry. If you'll let me so explain... So that's what you got? That's what you got for me? How about Michelle? This is your son, Robbie. I didn't want to tell you yet. I didn't want to hurt you yeah, or that Robbie. That didn't hurt a bit, Danny, did it? Is that what our marriage was like? 
You making decisions for me all no, the time? No, of course not. It's just that the other night you got so upset when you came across yeah, the Yeah, right, so you decided to ambush me with my own child? That's what I was trying to protect you from, Michelle. I don't remember. need your protection, okay? I need you to be honest. All right, that's fair. It's just, I just thought that you, uh, the old you, wouldn't want Robbie to see you like this. Uh, me. Me. What? Old me, new me, Danny, no, no. There's just me, okay? There's no real Michelle hiding up here, waiting for you to pull the right lever, and she's gonna pop out. How old is he? How old is our son? Three. Birthday is March 8th. He's beautiful. I picked him up and I I held on to him. I touched his hair and smelled him and touched his skin and I felt nothing. And I gave birth to that kid. How can I feel nothing? Michelle. He doesn't need to know. That little boy needs a mother, not an actor. Wow. Sometimes I don't even know how I could have been with someone like you. Just go, go take your son for a swim. Should I just pretend I'm not here? No, why? Uh... You seem bothered. Riva, tell me something, please, huh? Tell me how it is that when you think someone is so smart, they continuously make stupid decisions every single time. Why is that? You're not talking about me, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, then maybe it would help if you did tell me who we were talking about. Well, who do you think, Riva, huh? Danny and Michelle? Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, I just... I hate being here. I don't know I don't know why I come to this party. Every year it's the same. You know, that people smile, they, they're miserable. It makes no sense for me to be here. I can't stand this. What happened? Uh, what didn't happen? All right, fine. Michelle saw Robbie for the first time, as far as I'm concerned, in front of everybody here. She didn't remember. No, Danny's trying to run the whole situation, manage things, and this is how it ends up? Michelle told me that the breakthrough that she had was a fake, that she really isn't remembering things. Yeah, well, welcome to the Santos show, Riva. Starring Danny and Michelle Santos. Danny pretends to be honest with Michelle, pretends that everything's gonna turn out to be okay, and then you watch Michelle pretend that it's working. And you know what? It ends with both of them messing people's lives up. It's brilliant, don't you think? You want to do it, don't you? Don't you? That's well, fine by me. No. No. It's a mistake. Whoa, 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 it's so whoa, easy whoa. to get caught up in the moment. Then why don't we? Why don't we? Because, because I let this kind of thing get in the way of my goals in the past. And you, you just lost the love of your life, and I'm in a sham of a marriage. Isn't that a perfect reason to make each other feel oh, better? Oh, God, it's so simple to sleep with you. And I could even use it to my advantage. <laughs> you think so? Oh, yeah, I know that I could. But it's not what I want. It's not what I want, okay? I want to take over Spalding, and I want to crush Philip, and I don't want him running my daughter's life. Using sex as a weapon is going to get either one of us only so far. All right, well, you know, I got news for you. I would have slept with you, and I wouldn't change anything about our deal or lack thereof. I doubt it. Powerful men have risked everything for me. Oh. Well, maybe I'm looking for another kind of risk. Good. Well, let's get down to business. See how? Cassie, Jeffrey O'Neill is the DA. If you want the identity theft to stop, I don't see the harm in hiring the top legal man in town to take care of the matter. I cannot believe that's coming from you. Well, my dislike, dislike for him doesn't preclude using him for a job. I'm just surprised he's still in town. Well, nobody else wants him. And not that we want him either. Do you think he's trying to stay connected here? 
Why else would he stay? Tammy looks so sad. How are things going on the Joey Lupo front? Still pushing her away. Well, I think I should have a talk to the man. And I think she will kill you. Well, undoubtedly. But I think in the future, when she looks back, and of course I'm dead, she'll thank me for all this. Well then, give it a shot. Excuse me. I already told you, this isn't a charity date. <laughs> Remy, you're in college. And you're my friend, okay? I can't do that to you. Going back to high school would make you a loser. No, no. Not if I'm helping out a friend. See? I knew it. This is my pity party. No thanks. I'm not going. Helping you out isn't the only reason why I want to take you, Tammy. Well, what could possibly be the reason, though? We're supposed to research the teen market, fi figure out what they'll buy. This is... The high school dance is a marketing study. I need to go. I barely remember my teens. Okay. And I'll let you know if I need a date, old man. You completely overhauled the entire computer tracking system at Lewis Construction. We gave you a job, your family, yet you want to go and work for Alan Spalding and let him abuse you? Mrs. Lewis, I work construction before, and this is way better. Joey, you are crazy. What is better about it? Name one thing. Okay, we get to spend all day <laughs> indoors during the summer. Uh, we don't have to wake up before in the morning. We don't have to lay bricks all day long. Let Amen. me tell you something. Manual labor builds character. Is that where the sons of bricklayers become doctors? This coming from you, the prince off his pee. If you don't mind, we're going to steal Mr. Lupo for a moment. Joey? No more helium. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't help overhearing. You've worked construction. Yeah. And I hated every minute of it. You know, Mrs. Lewis is nice and everything, but she's a nut. No one likes hammer and nails all day long. Well, I'm renovating a farm, and I could use some help. Great. So hire a guy. That's what I'm doing. Joey, if there's one thing I've learned, American teenagers always need more money. You can make your own hours, and we'll work around the Spalding competition. Oh, right. And, Joey, it's a very big farm. You'd never have to see Tammy if you didn't want to. Can I have some chips? Mm -mm. You'll be too fat for your wedding dress. Oh. You know, your soon-to-be husband is actually playing nicely with Alexandra these days. Yeah, I know. Weird, huh? Yeah, a little twist. I guess your wedding is bringing them closer together. You know, the Spaldings do have control issues. You know that, don't you? No. No. I have a very large to-do list for the upcoming nuptials, by the way. Actually, Daddy, I, um, I mean to talk to you about that. Not at the time. I envision a big, fat, Greek wedding all of our own. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Right out of a socket. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The Spaldings are going to give you a fat cigala. <laughs> I guess I'm okay with it. Are you sure? If you're happy. You had me feeling guilty there for well, a minute, you, you know. you should feel guilty. You're depriving your father of a chance to empty his savings account. So, another Spalding wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Frank. So, uh, I'm standing over there. And, uh, is everything all right with you and Darcy? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah? Is there something I should know? No, no, not at all. I'm just making sure. Okay. You know, it's a funny thing about life. Honesty really is the key. And the truth hurts like nothing else. But without it, you've got nothing else. I've been working very hard just to, um... Accept them, you know? Accept them. You mean you trust them? There's no such thing as trusting a Spalding. Even Gus? Gus is not a Spalding. He's not. No, 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 no. Gus is the one member of that family I do trust. <laughs> uh, last year, Robbie helped your dad raised the flag, and he's been talking about it ever since. He really wants to stay 
for the flag ceremony. He, uh, wants me to help? Yeah. Well, he wants you to be with us if you're up for it. Not that I have a choice. Yes, Frank, honesty is the best policy. Did, uh, did Darcy say something to you earlier that upset you? Look, man, that's something I just can't share with you, all right, without her permission. No, that's cool. I understand that. But I can't share something with you about the Antimonious case. Frank, you gotta let it go. Come on. Salerno's in jail. Brad Green's dead. So is the Spalding Drug Pipeline. The feds have closed this case. I understand that. But I also told you that I have a gut feeling. I think there's a lot more there than meets the eye. I talked to my grandfather about you working, you know, around the pool for oh, some extra money, and... About that, I got another job offer. You did? Yeah. Well, what's more fun than getting free use of the best pool in town? Oh, uh, Edmund asked me to help out on the farm. The farm? I I you want to work on a farm? Well, it's better pay, and I get to make my own hours. Yeah, and Tammy's there. Lizzie, what's up with you? Sometimes you act like we're going out or something. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, then, cut the jealous act. Jealous. Listen, I could care less. There's no chance for you and Tammy anyway. Remy already asked her to the dance. Tammy and Remy? She's moving on just like you. <laughs> Scratch what I said earlier. Frank is gonna check out this whole thing. So we have a major problem. Major. <sighs> All right, so I guess we're gonna go right, gather around that flag. Right. What do you say? No. All right, little guy. Hey, okay. how far are you going to push this, Danny? Why can't you give her a break? Don't tell me how to handle my wife. See, right there, there's that word again. First of all, thank you so much for coming. Um, the Bauer Barbecue is more than a tradition to this family. It just, it just means everything to us. Um, and everybody that's important to us is here, and I can't tell you how much that means to Melon. Michelle and I, that, that you're all here. Um, there's one person missing, of course. Um, you all know my dad. Um, our dad. And he, if he were standing here right now, he would be giving this speech and doing a much better job of it. So I think I need a little help here. Um, so I'd like my father's dearest and closest friend to do the honors. Now is this man, our new mayor, but he's my father's dearest. And best. I haven't prepared anything. I find that hard to believe. Maybe I made a couple of mental notes. <laughs> Let me start by saying how thankful I am that you are back with us, Michelle. And with Ed being gone, you are now becoming the heart and soul of this remarkable family. You know, before your father left, I asked him, why, why are you going over there to help those people with their seemingly impossible problems? I mean, it's like digging out the Grand Canyon one spoonful at a time. What are you doing? Why are you going there? And Ed told me, well, I'm going because I happen to have a spoon. And of late, many people have followed his footsteps and beyond men and women of service. And on this celebration of our independence, let us honor their commitment and let us honor them for answering their call to duty. At home, I think we should strive to follow his example and ask, what can we do for those in need? And when we find out, we do it. And then the following day, we do it again. And so on the occasion of yet another glorious Bauer barbecue, allow me to give a toast to Ed Bauer, to all those who know the wisdom of what it is to own a spoon, <laughs> and to all of those who serve and sacrifice here and abroad to America. Michelle, our daughter has come back to us. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> the firewall.
breached. Security vanquished. Alan Spaulding's computer and life, an open book. How cool are you? Very. <laughs> I want you all to go home, change into proper attire, and meet me at the Spaulding boardroom in one hour. Stop kissing me. We're gonna get this done. <laughs> well, then you better stop kissing me. Mm. Okay, here's my final offer. Okay? We're gonna co chair Spalding after we take over, okay? We're gonna split 50 50 all the visions, excluding those with annual revenue in excess of $10 million. So, of course, we'll divvy those up as we go along. Yeah, that was sexy. Yeah. Mm. But no can do. Mm -hmm. I'm on the inside. What are you talking about? You're never going to make it without mm -hmm. me. I'm going to try it, but you're not going to make it without me either. Mm -hmm. It's only fair, 50-50. Come on, I'm going to be nice. Mm -hmm. Deal. <laughs> ah. Don't mess with me, girl. Where are you going? the original dog with a bone. Well, what did Darcy tell him? My guess is your involvement with Brad Green in Paris. He's coming looking. Oh, God. No. He's going to come Why? looking. But he's not going to find out anything. You still have to protect me, Gus. I mean, you do whatever you can just to put him off. He is the chief of police. He is my boss. He's my fiancé's brother. I, I thought one little lie would make this go away, okay? Gus. What are you saying? I think you're on your own with this. <laughs> well, whatever it is, I think it's good news. I think we've been patient long enough. I think we have, too. Hey, Frank. <laughs> well, Frank. Remember us, your family? I do. Well, tell them. Uh, honey, I, I think they've pretty much guessed what's Say the on. words, Frank. Well, you know I've been on my own for a long time. Wow. Yeah. Darcy came into my life, and she changed a lot of things for the better. Cut to the chase. So, They're getting married. We're getting married. Oh, oh, Another wedding in our family. All right. Well, um, anyway, I, I don't want to break up this little party, um, but I, I really got to get to the station, so. Mr. Romance. No, we talked about it. Yeah, get used to it. You're a cop's wife. Soon, right? Let's go get some champagne. Yes! <laughs> wow. So what you working on? Working on the Antimonia Spalding case. Mm. I know you worked on that from the beginning, and so um, I'd like to pick your brain about that, actually. Frank, I don't get it. What, what, what's the sudden interest in this case? I mean, it is closed, right? I just have curiosity. Well, I, I think you should talk to Gus because, you know, he knows everything I know. I really don't want to do that right now because I'm afraid I might hit uh, a little too close to home for a couple people. Let's hope not. Yeah. I'm coming with you. It's not a good idea, Michelle. Just stay here. Tony, right? I've been watching you, and you're as fed up as I am. I'm not doing this, all right? I'm not doing it to that little boy or the rest of these people. Okay, then you tell Danny that, Michelle. Don't tell me, all right? And you tell him fast before Robbie or anyone else gets hurt. You understand? Please. Either you bust me out of here, or I'm leaving on my own. 
Hey. Thank you. Guys, have you seen Michelle? Um, yeah, I think she's in the kitchen. I, I saw her yeah. trying to find Tony. Right. Wow. Okay. Nice. Here. Let's go. You remember who I am, right? Shut up. <laughs> Michelle! 